not like super in my face anyway any strain that i've tried of it anyway it's made by crossing papaya and purple punch a lot of purple punch guys hmm. next strain um i have not personally tried this but i so badly want to and as soon as i find some of the strain i'm going to try it up and let you guys know how it is but this one's called berry white it is an indica um indica strain testing at 16 percent the main effect from you'll be getting from this that you should be getting is like a euphoric um, effect. It tastes and smells more like berries. It's made by crossing blueberry and white widow. I've tried white widow. I love mm-hmm. white widow. It's been quite a while since I've had it though. Um, I'd have to reanalyze how I feel about that because it's been a long time. But it also it should also help with relaxation, stress, and anxiety. Next one, we have Black Cherry Soda. I have not personally tried this one either. It is a hybrid, testing at 21%, and it is a C- also has CBG at 1%. It should be making you feel relaxed. Um, it has, like, a nice berry flavor also to it, and it should be giving you, like, a balanced mind and body effect. So it kind of would be like a balanced hybrid, 50-50. I definitely want to try that. It sounds really good. Uh, moving on. So next one is Synex. It is a creative sativa. So it's testing at 17%. It should make you feel more creative, like I said, energetic. And it has like a citrusy, fruity aroma to it and flavor. And it should be, um, like I said, it should produce, um, wow, I cannot speak for a second, guys. It should produce energy and creativity. And to create the strain, it is crossed by Cinderella 99 and Vortex. Next one, and this will be the last one actually on this list for limonene, um, for my list anyway. Um, This one is a sativa. It is Quantum Kush, testing at 20% with 1% of CBG in it. And it should make you feel very energetic. It has a nice pungent, like in your face um, aroma and flavor to it. Um, Mostly the aroma. It's very earthy and sweet. And it can also help with appetite loss, nausea, and depression. All the things that I definitely. Um, for myself personally find that I need help with and it pretty much checks off all the boxes if it's not all of them at once it's at least two out of three so it's great for me Um, and it's made by crossing time wreck and sweet irish kush so I haven't tried sweet irish kush by itself I have tried train wreck I've tried time wreck Um, so this strains very it does hit personally because I have tried this and from reading a bunch of these, there are strains in this bunch of these lists that I've made. It's interesting to look back and be like, oh, yeah, I have tried this and reanalyze, like, my personal experience that I've had with these strains. And then even going back and trying them again and, you know, going, comparing them from years ago and now um, is interesting. And even comparing, like, a smoke session from the same strain in different site and setting, it can, it can mean a lot. And I've talked about that before in a different episode of my podcast and different episodes, I think multiple, but site and setting is very important. The terpenes are very important and there's a lot of different factors that go into the effect that you'll be getting out of smoking the cannabis or however you're going to be, um, taking in the THC. So anyway, guys, thank you for listening. Um, I enjoyed sharing all of those strains and talking about them with you guys, but I got to say, talking about the weed makes me definitely want to smoke the weed. So before I get off of this, I'm going to take another toke with you guys. And then next time, we'll be talking about the next um, next terpene on the list and all the strains that go with that. So cheers, guys. And I will say, um, the entire time during this podcast, I didn't feel my high decrease or deteriorate. I felt myself easily able to talk for most points. I had some stumbles, but it happens. And I just feel very, like, my head feels light, and I just feel very relaxed. So I definitely highly recommend guava. um, I'm sorry, this is called guava bars. It's biscotti, made by biscotti. Um, crossed by guava. I'm so silly. I'm, I was a little bakey when I read it. So anyway, guys, hope you all enjoy your Monday or whatever day it is where you guys are at when you're listening to this. And uh, we'll be back again soon. Cheers.